Yeah. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Hello. Are you Joe? I am. Joe, I'm Isaac with Swan Heating and Air Conditioning. Nice to meet you. How are you doing there? Come on in. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. So, come on in here. So Joe, uh, just out of curiosity, I looked at dispatch this morning and I, I saw vaguely what, what I'm out here for, but I just wanted to get the, the root cause for you. What, what was the purpose of your call this morning? Well, this morning we were here because we want to um, uh, take a look at the heating system. It just stopped working uh, yesterday afternoon and uh, it is, we're freezing our patootie oven here. So I want to take a look at it and see what you think. Okay, so to be sure, uh, I'm just here to take a look at it. I'm not here to do any work. No, 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 we gotta get this thing done. We took off work and everything, Isaac. Okay, so Joe, I just wanna be completely clear before we go downstairs. What what did you wanna accomplish from today's meeting? We visit? have to get this thing done. Uh, I took off work. Uh, we really, this is causing a problem here at the house. So definitely, uh, if you can, let's take a look at it and get it done, okay? Okay, okay. Um, Let's take a look over here. So I'll go over here. I'll show you where the thermostat's at. It's right okay. over here, yeah. All right. Um, and so did you tell me earlier, um, who was it that discovered the problem? Um, it was uh, my wife, uh, Julie. She was home. I, I, was, I was on a business trip in Baltimore, and I was uh, on a plane. She's texting me. She was just freezing in here. It's like 58 degrees. <clears throat> and I thought she was imagining. I said, you know, your imagination is getting too strange, you know? And she said, she says, you don't care. And she started, uh, it was crazy. So I don't even tell you what she said. Joe, off the record, what did she say? She was like, you don't care. You're in Baltimore. You fly around the country doing all your work. And we are here freezing. And she was, and then, you know, she had my son, Wyatt, who's got asthma. She said, you know, he's got asthma. He's got, he has, he has uh, he's attacks. We have Karen, who's got eczema, dry skin. She says, we're here suffering and you're just making fun of us. You're making sarcasm. She says, that's not very nice, you know. So it was pretty, and she was pretty, she wouldn't even talk to me when I got home. So she had, I got home and she said, you take care of it. I'm going to take the kids and go to her mom's house. So the kids are not even here with my wife. They went to her mom's house. What is that like, Joe? It's terrible. It's uh, stressful because we got Thanksgiving coming up. I got my mom coming in from out of town. And now we have, uh, both the kids are sick and things like that. And, um, you know, I, I care about the family. I don't know why she would say that, and, you know, but I just, uh, I just try to get things back together. This is the first thing I got to do before I get the family back here. You know what I'm saying? Joe, do you mind if I say something real quick? What's that? I know you and I have only been talking for a couple of minutes, but I wanted to let you know that from what I know of you already, just from speaking with you, I would have to say that your, your family's pretty gosh darn lucky to have a husband and a father like you. Really think so? Yeah, absolutely. That's nice of you to say that. I mean, you're just being nice, right? No way. I, I mean every single word that I say. There's not many men out there today that would take care of their families like a guy like you are right now. That's so nice of you to say that. It's like, hey, you want a cup of coffee? I would love a cup of coffee. Okay, okay. Cream and sugar or just black? Both. Okay, we can do a little bit of cream and sugar. Here you go. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you so yeah, that's what's going on here. So you want to take a look at this? Oh, sure, let's take a look at the furnace now. Okay. Here's the Benford uh, furnace right there, Benford 2102i. Okay, okay. Yeah. So Joe, um, well, yeah, let me see if that Acme sticker off there. <laughs> so Joe, I'm curious, um, in the past, do you have a, a family friend or uh, another company or, or maybe a family member that generally works on this system for you? Yeah, I usually have Acme, a normal company. I've used them for five or six years now. If, yeah. if you don't mind me asking, is there a reason why they didn't get called out today to address this? Well, I don't want to get into it, Isaac. It was pretty terrible, so I don't like, I don't like talking bad about people, though. It's me, you know. Joe, as a true professional, I would truly like to know off the record what took place so that I don't make the same mistake that they made. Off the record? Yeah, off the record. I'll tell you what happened. The guy uh, was supposed to, he, he went, came here last time for a no air conditioning call, and then he's supposed to go get a part and come back next day. And then I went and left for business again, and then he never came back the next day. My wife's like, it was nice and cool, so she never noticed it. And then a couple days later, it was really hot. And then she's like, wasn't the air conditioning fixed? I said, yeah, you're supposed to come back the next day. And so he never came back. And then we had to then call him. It took us two weeks to get back out here to fix the thing. Wow. It was just terrible. It was, it was just like, and they blamed us. Like, we didn't, we didn't know you wanted to do it. And I said, I signed for it and everything. I gave you a down payment. And they're like, oh, I thought it was just a tip. I said, tip? Yeah, you know, 300 bucks for a tip? It's ridiculous. So. I was just, uh, we got it all figured out, but I was just kind of steamed my britches, you know what I'm saying? I got a question, did you end up picking <clears throat> it up with management? I did, that's the first thing I did, and they, they did get something out here, but it took them two weeks to get the part, and again, it was ridiculous, it was just crazy. 
and after waiting for two weeks to get that part, did you feel the need to call the owner of the company? I did. I called the owner. He wouldn't take my calls. He was busy on some kind of a thing with some best practice group. He said, go to go into a seminar, learn how to make more money. You know, while I'm sitting here suffering. You know what I'm saying? Not yeah, good, exactly. Not good. So right. let me ask you this. I don't want to step on any toes, so I got to ask the question. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you don't want to give this company a second chance? No, we're done with these guys. I would never deal with them again. It's, I've had enough of that. You're sure? Oh, yeah. I'm done with that 100%. All right. That's, that's why I called you guys. Awesome. Well, I, I'm, I'm pleased that you gave me the opportunity to come into your home and, and take care of this yeah. issue for you. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll take a look and, and see what I can find for you. Interesting story how I got a hold of you. Yeah, I was actually curious. <laughs> um, how is it that you, that you heard about my company? Well, it's really uh, interesting. I, I, my neighbor, Roger Godwin, told me all about you guys. He did. Yeah, he said you guys. Uh, <clears throat> it was amazing what he said. What What, what did he say about us? Joe? He said you were neat, you're clean, you're professional, and you ne always said never leave. You never leave opportunity behind. That's your motto. Always push opportunity forward. That's what he said. That is so awesome that you would say such kind words about our company. Yeah, that's what he said. What else did he have to say? He said you guys, else? he said you weren't the cheapest, but you were the best, the best, totally the best. Wow. Yeah. That that really means a lot to me to hear that my my other customers are saying positive things about me, um, and, it, and it pleases me to know that that's what led me to be in your house today. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity, Joe. I really appreciate it. You should go say thanks to Roger. Yeah, Roger. yeah and I was actually hoping that uh, after this, if you wouldn't mind, I could go and speak with Roger and let him know how thankful I was to get this opportunity. You will? Yeah, absolutely. Tell him I said hi, okay? He's a great guy. Okay, I will, yeah. absolutely. Well, Thank you want to so take much. a look at this furnace and see what's going on? Yeah, I yeah. absolutely would love to. So what would you find here, Isaac? Something nice and easy, like a reset button or something like that? What would we come up with? Well, so while I was down there, I noticed an electrical fault in your air movement system. Oh, Jesus. That sounds terrible. My biggest fear, Joe, is that that electrical fault is going to turn into an electrical failure, oh. and it's going to end up leaving your family without heat once oh again, in, in, in the, at the coldest point of the year. That sounds terrible. Is there anything to be fixed? It absolutely can be fixed. Actually, I have produced a couple uh, premium, mid-range, and economy solutions for you. Good, good. What was what that? that? Tell me about that. Well, so your premium option top of the list, because I really do want to address all the issues that I discovered down there. Um, if you'd like to it may take be a look. Too, maybe too good, right? Well, yeah, it actually might be too good. It actually might end up coming with too much service. Okay. Um, but I do have some economy mid-range options for you as well at the bottom, too. Okay. Um, so you, would you, you like either, to? Either way, I should do what? Either way, I really do want to make sure that you make the best decision for you and your family. Okay, good, good. What do you got here? Tell me about the top one. All right, so this first option that I have for you, I'm going to call it Joe's Premium Air Movement System. This Premium Air Movement System is the type of motor that runs 24% quieter, mm. which means that you and your family can get the well-deserved rest. That's good. We need that, yeah. Furthermore, this, this air movement system has the ability to move air 24 hours a day, which allows the air to be continually filtering in your home. It's just going to be good for Wyatt's uh, asthma. He needs that. Yeah. yeah. Furthermore, the efficiency of this system, I know you travel a lot, I know you don't have as much time as you would like with mm -hmm. your family. Due to the fact that it's high efficient, it is actually going to save you money in the long run, which is going to put money right back into your pocket and allow you to do things with your family when you are back home. That's what I need. What else does it have? Well, furthermore, I wanted to add a medical grade air pollutant and UV light combination. Wow. And what's that? What that's going to do is that's going to filter out air pollutants. At the same time, it's also going to be sterilizing the air for you. So that's also going to be good for Wyatt and all of your family members, Karen, honestly, yeah. Yeah, and Karen. Um, I also have added to this Premium Plus option a superior steam humidification delivery system. Mm. Now what that's going to do is that's going to introduce humidity into the air, which is going to be really good for Karen's eczema. Mm. It's going to make her skin a lot happier in your house. It's that's gonna make good. Her is that, that's a better one, right? That. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's well. the premium option. Um, but I did that because you, 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 you appear to care for your family. I do. And you seem like the type of guy that wants to do the best of the best. That's what I want. Yeah. Um, and so that's why I built this into your premium option for wow. you today. That sounds great. Furthermore, I've also included a five-year warranty on this system, which means that in the next five years, if anything goes wrong with this system at all, I'm going to replace it under warranty for you. Wow. No, no questions asked. 
your own business, you don't need to stress out about it. If Karen is on one of her four 12-hour shifts in the medical industry, she doesn't have to worry about coming home and getting the situation taken care of. We are going to warrant do this piece out for you, no question asked. Sounds like amazing. So you're doing that over the air movement thing and the air quality and the humidification? Yes, sir. And on top of that, I've also added a five-year service agreement. What that means is rain, sun, or shine, if something happens on this system, I'm going to be to your door within 24 hours. Wow. Um, I will be your personal concierge on this system. I'm the guy that repaired it. I'm the guy that's going to be taking care of it, and I'm going to be the guy that's going to be taking care of your home for you as well. Wow, really? Absolutely. That makes me feel so good. You're, you're going to be the one? Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's I take so full great. responsibility for this system after I repair it. It's on me. It's on me. Is it going to be expensive? To, how about the replacement of the filters and stuff like that? Is that going to be expensive? No way. It's all included in your service program. I'll do it all for you. I'm going to come out two times a year and I'm going to service this piece of equipment for you. For how long? For how long? How many for years? five years. I'm oh, wow. Out for five years for you. Wow. I'm going to be replacing that filter for you. I'm going to be replacing that UV light bulb for you. I'm going to be doing all of your annual maintenance two times a year on this system for you. Holy crap. And it's all included in your five-year warranty and service agreement. For How you. much are you talking about for all this stuff? It sounds kind of pricey. Well, Joe, why don't you, if, if you were to guess, if you were to guess what a system like this cost, a premium system with the best of the best for your family. Well, you, you, have, you probably have to be gone 5000 What if right. I told you to double it? 10000 Isaac? How much is it? Not even close. How much? Come on, tell me. It's not even close, Joe. It's a premium option for you. Seventy-eight thirty. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's not bad. So what should we do, Joe? Can I just tell you something? Absolutely. First of all, I think this is amazing. You did a great job here. <clears throat> but this is definitely way more than I thought it was gonna cost. You know? Well, Joe, this is a premium option. Um, like I said, I do have some, some uh, mid-range and economy options for you. If you look down the list, you can actually see those. Um, but this is the premium option, and this is what you get. Most bang for your buck. So, so what should we do, Joe? Um, could you email this to me, and I'll give you a call back later? Joe, I'll do you one better. What's that? Would you let me stick around and have a cup of coffee with you while you thought about what you wanted to do? Oh, okay. Yeah, it'd be fine. Of course. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to take up any of your time, but I, I, I'm here it for just, you right It just now. kind of confuses me, all this, these numbers just kind of make my head burn. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well, what, 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 uh, let, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Can we both admit that that top option is probably not going to be the best suited option for your household? Truthfully? Yeah. It's the one I actually like. It it's is? Like, I hate to say it, but it's the one I like. It's just so, it's good. Can I be honest with you about mm -hmm. something? Yeah. I'm the type of guy that wants the best of my best, the best of the best for my family as mm -hmm. well. That's my favorite option. I like that one. Tell me what do you like about it? Well, it gives me the, the humidifier. I mean, the steam humidifier is the premium primo. I read about that in Popular Mechanics. Yeah. It's amazing. And then I saw it on the Bob Vila show with that air quality thing you had and that variable motor. I've seen that, you know? Yeah. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty slick, you know? So <laughs> I know what you're talking about. It's high end stuff. Everything's just really good, you know? So Joe, let me ask you, what should we do? Um, I feel like my wife's not here, you know, to do that right now with Julie not being here, it's just so much you're asking me for, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I make decisions with my wife as well, so let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. When your wife and you make decisions, um, does Julie uh, more, normally lead more towards economy, mid-range, or, or premium equipment? She would go with the 10 grand. She'd go with the 10 grand. She'd say, I'll pay the 10 grand even if you don't have it. She'd, not, she'd probably do it. She'd find something to buy more. She always buys more than she wants that we should. Well, you're, the, you're the boss, man. Well, what should we do? Is this competitive if I shop around when I find this to be competitive? You know, Joe, I've actually built all six of these options because I wanted you to know that I've done the research for you already. Um, I, I don't compete with my competitors because, like I said, I'm a, I'm a premium vendor. But I did want to offer all of the options out there for you so that you could rest assured know that I, I went the distance for you and I made sure that you had every available option for you in your household. I get it. So what should we do, Joe? So, so you expect me to do this today, though, right? Is that what you're, you, want, you want me to do it today? Joe, this is your household. This is your decision. And I know it's a big decision. So, um, Which one would you recommend? I mean, 
What's your, what would you think? Is it, what's your, either, you know this more than I do. Well, generally, recommendations, um, everybody's got a recommendation. Um, I, I custom built this for your household. Um, and so it's really hard to say what, what I would do because it's not my household, it's not my kids, honestly. Mm -hmm. So what should we do? Well, it's my kids. Let's get that top one. Can, can I get that done today? Joe, that's a, it's going to be a lot of work. <coughs> mm -hmm. um, if I were to say that I could get this done today, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to clear my schedule, which means I'm just here with you today. Mm -hmm. um, if I cleared my schedule today, what would, what would, what would we do? We just do that damn one. I just want to get that one done. So, what do we want to do, Joe? Let's get that one done right there at 78.30. We'll get that one done. All right, Joe. So I'm going to have to secure the job. So I got to ask, how do you want to settle up with me? Uh, we got, uh, can I use a ma MasterCard? Yeah, I mean, it is, it is a premium card, Joe. If, if, if I were to tell you that I could, could accept that card, what, what, would, what would happen? we just do it then, not that one. All right, Joe, so, so what do you want to see happen today? Let's get that one done. All right, awesome. Now, Joe, we do have the one thing you didn't look at. That is true, Joe. One, one thing you did not look at is, is the, the lower options that uh, were presented to you as well. No, I don't want that crap. I want the good one. Are you sure, Joe? I don't. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't no. want you to have any buyer's remorse. No, I want the good one. That's what I want. We're not going to be hearing about numbers later on, Joe. Never. I'm the course. I'm done. Yeah, right. see the top one. All right, buddy, let's Thank you so much. All right, nice job there, oh. Isaac. Good job, guy. Good job, Thank buddy. You. Yeah, good